All right, all right, all righty, all right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Day number 1187 coming at you, everybody. Hope you're all doing well out there. If you are a delivery driver for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody. That's the red subscribe button and the little bell icon to the right. And of course, let's get 150 thumbs up on this video. The likes are a little bit low, but we can change that. All right, everybody. Tell me what viewer number you are. Whatever the view count says, comment it down below. Say, I am viewer number 25, Pete. Big shout out to Budasan for sending me this article of that about California gig drivers trying to revive Proposition 22. Mm, why would they want to revive it? Let's find out. The California ballot measure bankrolled by Uber Technologies Incorporated, Lyft Incorporated, and Door DoorDash Incorporated that allows their drivers to be classified as, as independent contractors is unconstitutional, according to a lawsuit refiled in state court on Thursday. The Service Employees International Union, the SEIU, California State Council, and four gig drivers renewed their challenge... Um, Sorry. Uh, renewed their challenge to Proposition 22 in Alameda Superior Court. The California Supreme Court on February 3rd declined to directly take up their case before it worked its way through lower courts. The, the lawsuit claims that the voter approved Proposition 22, which allows gig companies to avoid the state's stringent ABC worker classification test, limits workers' rights. I'm sorry, guys. Um, let's see. The lawsuit claims that the voter prop approved Proposition 22, which allows gig companies to avoid the state's stringent ABC worker classification test, limits workers' rights and the power of government officials and violates specific parts of the California Constitution. For example, the suit claims it limits the legislator's right to grant workers the right to organize and keeps drivers from accessing the state's worker compensation program. It also says Proposition 22 violates a constitutional provision that requires ballot initiatives to address only a single subject. With Prop 22, Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and other gig giants overreached by writing a law that violates our state's constitution and puts corporate profits ahead of worker safety and basic rights. One of the plaintiffs, gig driver Sayori Okawa, said in a statement, The group cite two examples of previous constitutional challenges to ballot measures, including one that denied undocumented in immigrants access to basic education and health care, and another that denied marriage equality to same-sex couples. Those measures were ultimately struck down through litigation or legislation. The gig company spent a record $200 million to fund the ballot initiative that allows their business models to rely on contractors and outlines basic events, uh, basic benefits, excuse me. Uh, employees, unlike contractors, have access to minimum wage, overtime, and health care. Is everybody still with me? Say, yes, Pete, we're still with you. All right. The California Attorney General's office in Sacramento is defending Proposition 22. Olson Remcho, I'll shoot. Al Schuler Berzon, Berzon and attorneys with the SEIU are representing the unions and workers. Uh, the attorney's general office said in a statement that it is reviewing the latest filing. The gig companies directed at questions to protect app based drivers and services, a group that pushed for Proposition 22. Uh, the group provided a statement from an app based driver, Jimmy Strano or Strano, who says he wants to be a contractor. I want to be a contractor as well. Everybody in the comments, put if you want to be a contractor or if you want to be a employee or an, an employee. Special interests have consistently refused to accept the overwhelming desire of drivers to remain independent since it doesn't fit their political agenda, Strano said in the statement. Now they're continuing to undermine the will of California voters across the political spectrum who overwhelmingly passed Prop 22. We're confident these attacks on California voters and our electoral process will continue to be rejected by the courts. 
The case is Castellanos versus California. Uh, California Super Court, Super something docket number unavailable, petition filed, 2-11-21. Let's see. Oh, okay. So that was the end of that. So what are our thoughts on this? Do you guys feel that Proposition 22 is a good thing or a bad thing? Because I'm going to tell you straight up right here, right now. I've said this a million times in the past. I do not want to be an employee where I have to punch in at a certain time, punch out at a certain time, punch out for lunch, make sure I'm back on time for lunch, you know, or to go back to work, have a manager above me. I'm not, I'm not for that. You know, ever since I've been doing this in, tw- since, uh, June of 2017, you know, having the freedoms to work when you want and how you want is what has made these jobs so desirable, you know, for a lot of people. You know, so everyone has their own reason why it works for them. But personally, I don't think they need to change anything. What do you guys feel? Do you think something needs to be changed or do you think it should just stay the same? Let me know in the comments. Be very, very brutally honest. And I do want to take this time to thank all of our patrons over at patreon.com slash pay to drive. If you guys want to sign up and get shout outs and support the channel, links down below. And in the pin top comment, we got BBA Master Yoda Nottingham. Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Kurt Paul, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Frank Haviland, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Katie Coppin, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, uh, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Fernando Carranza, Lulu Laura, Jenny Thomas, John Venacci, Kimberly Thomas, Matt Epperson, Nick G., Terrence Pacheco, and Terry DeLong. Thank you to every single one of you. Uh, who supports the channel. If you heard your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. If you didn't, you got to sign up if you want. And, of course, make sure to sign up for free on the Get Upside Gas app. I know I'm annoying about it, but I get people all the time saying thank you for telling me about it. Free link to download on your smartphone is in the description down below. All you have to do is download the app, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Make sure to download it, everybody. Seriously. I know. I know I'm annoying about it, but download it. And of course, check out paytodrivestore.com for t-shirts and hoodies everything on sale right now go check it out all right if you made it to the end comment end 421 end 421 and subscribe with all notifications on hit that like button if you haven't yet it's very simple just hit it and uh get that money get that honey keep hustling keep bustling we'll see you guys next time right here on pay to drive and pay to drive logs and we'll see you next time take care everybody peace love dope